Welcome to our lecture line. Our next integral, the integral of the sine square of x over the cosine cube of x, for that one we're going to have to dig back to some of the things that we just saw in some of the previous videos, but let me show you why that is the case. First we're going to rewrite the numerator as follows. This is equal to the integral. Instead of the sine square of x, we can write 1 minus the cosine square of x divided by the cosine cube of x dx. And then, of course, we can write this as two separate integrals. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is equal to the first integral. That would be 1 over the cosine cube of x dx minus the integral of 1 over the cosine of x dx. Now, if you look at these two integrals, this integral we just saw in the previous video in number 104, and then this integral we just saw in the, in the video number 100. So we pull those two solutions together to see what happens. So for the first integral, that's going to be equal to the sine of x. Well, actually, it's 1 half. 1 half. The sine of x divided by the cosine square of x plus 1 half times the natural log of the secant of x plus the tangent of x plus a constant of integration. And then we subtract from that the integral of 1 over the cosine of x, which is equal to the positive natural log of, and that would be the same thing, the secant of x plus the tangent of x. And now we add the constant of integration. And then all we have to do is add these two terms together. We have a plus 1 half and a minus 1. So this then becomes equal to 1 half times the sine of x divided by the cosine square of x minus 1 half times the natural log of the secant of x plus the tangent of x plus a constant of integration. And then this will be the result of that integral. So after a while, you'll begin to be able to pull different results from different integrals you've done before to get the final result for one of these. And that's how it's done.